Hey guys, it's Corey with Gun Prime again. We had a few questions about some PDWs and what was a PDW. Uh, we even had a question about a shotgun. So we're gonna give you some content that y'all asked for. Uh, if you come over here, we've got a few different PDWs. Uh, what started it all back in the uh, 60s, I believe, was the H&K. You know, it's been in a lot of militaries for a while, but that nine millimeter round uh, proved inferior to a lot of <clears throat> modern handgun, I mean, modern rounds such as your 300 blackout. So what we have here is a Q Honey Badger as well, the Sig Rattler, and then the Daniel Defense that we showed the other day. And for the guy that likes shotguns, we got you Attack 13. So <laughs> give us a like. Anyways, um, start out with, this is the gun that won the contract in 2018 for US OCOM. So it's a five and a half inch barrel. And what I was talking about versus the Daniel Defense earlier was, it's got proprietary parts. So it's got an ambi uh, safety selector, but this is a piston driven system. That's why you can have this brace out here like that. But the problem is, even though you can get conversion kits for it, you couldn't use this lower for anything else. You can get conversion kits. So that's what SOCOM actually did was get conversion kits and put it on uh, standard lowers. But that's a big issue with that. That's gonna be a one in five twist, I believe. So to stabilize a round, usually conventional wisdom says you want to have one rotation before it comes out the barrel. So that's probably why they sped up that uh, rotation a little bit with that five and a half inch barrel. So it could go. Um, here's the Q Honey Badger right here. Local legend brought it in today. It's his truck gun. Connor, appreciate it. Uh, he's got it tricked out with a tr Trigicon MRO, a suppressor, a light. And a hand stop, he's actually probably using that hand stop, like I was talking about in the first video, to pull in and control recoil. Uh, versus the hand stop on the Daniel Defense that has it right here for its actual function, which is to prevent your hand from going too far forward with these short barrels. But uh, some of the cool features, like I said, that I would actually put on a Daniel Defense if I had it too, was the suppressor. He's got a surefire light on there. He's got the red dot. Um, some other cool features with the Honey Badger, it has their proprietary brace. It has a 45 throw on that safety in its ambi, flat face trigger. But once again, this is all proprietary. And what it helps out with is right here, you see how that's flush with the, um, the receiver right there? That, that makes it look cooler. It's more uh, streamlined, I guess you would say compared to the Daniel Defense. You might, with the Daniel Defense, have a little trouble manipulating that safety with um, the brace so far forward, but I really don't think it's a problem. Anyways, like I said, with the Daniel Defense, this is a standard lower and upper, so you could customize it more so than you could with a Honey Badger, but all these have M-Lock, I believe, the modern PDWs, yep, all M-Lock. Right here, one cool thing about that SIG they're pulling up right here too is that's a smaller um, grip right there. So that's good for putting it in a backpack and whatnot. So the smaller grip, some people hate it, some people love it, but it makes it more concealable. Let's see, what else? Oh, the TAC-13. Because these are all range toys, right? Oh yeah, since those are range toys, we got a real PDW. We've got a semi-automatic shotgun right here. In all seriousness, guys, I actually think it takes more skill in a home defense scenario to use a shotgun because you gotta worry about patterning. Yes, it's not gonna pattern that far in short range, but you gotta think it might take a lot more skill to not hit anything else except for what you're wanting to hit versus if you're proficient in one of these other weapons. And like I said, a 300 blackout round is very, um, versatile compared to a nine millimeter. Nine millimeter, you're not gonna reach out and touch something at 300. With these, you could put supers in it, traveling at about 1900 feet per second or so. You can reach out and touch something. Or you can put subs in there, and it'll be quiet with a suppressor. So you're yeah. saying supersonic is like higher pressure, shoot faster. Subsonic is slower, Correct. quieter. So the subsonics, you know, it's gonna be less than about a thousand feet per second. You know, think of a, I think of a 300 blackout round, going to that, that speed is like a 45 almost, you know what I'm saying? It's a 200 grain bullet too, with a subsonic round. So it's gonna pack a punch. Um, anyways, 
If y'all got any other questions, please let us know. We want to give y'all the content y'all asked for. So that's what kind of what this spur of the moment video was. But please let us know if you want anything else, and we'll try to make it happen. If you like videos like this, and you like to see cool guns, we're going to try to bring out videos maybe once or twice a week uh, with stuff that y'all like. So subscribe if you like that. Um, other than that, uh, have a good day.